friends. Um, I have four more books left to read to you until um, summer starts. And in honor of that, I wanted to start reading a few books that kind of um, represent what's all the great things you can do during the summer, um, all the fun things we see, um, and all the fun that we can have during the summertime when we have all day to play and use our imagination um, and do great things. So today's book, it's based on an old folk tale called The Little Red Hen, but this book is called The Little Red Fort. And in it, the main character, Ruby, um, she doesn't have anything to do and she gets kind of bored and she decides that she wants to build something magnificent. Um, and so she asks her brothers to help and they keep saying, no, we don't want to help. You don't know how to build. And so she says, then I'll learn. And she does. And she builds something amazing. And her brothers get a little jealous. So let's read it and find out what she builds. You can kind of get an idea from the title, right? The Little Red Fort. The Little Red Fort by Brenda Mayer and pictures by Sonia Sanchez. Ruby's mind was always full of ideas. One day, she found some old boards. Who wants to help me build something? She asked her brothers. Oscar Lee pretended not to hear her. Rodrigo gave her a look that could melt popsicles. Jose almost fell off the fence. You don't know how to build anything, they said. Ruby shrugged. Then I'll learn. And she did. Who wants to help me draw the plans? Ruby asked. The boys clutched their sides and howled with laughter. Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll draw them myself. And she did. So Ruby has tons of ideas, right? Um, and her brothers say, you don't know how to build anything. And she says, so I'll learn, which I think is a great response. If you don't know how to do something, you can teach yourself how to do it. And that's what Ruby does. She starts um, getting boards and practicing with them to build things. And even though her brothers say, you don't know what you're doing, um, she learns how to do it. And then she starts making plans, drawing plans out. And she asks her brothers if they want to help. Um, and I like how their names rhyme with what they say. Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. And no way, said Jose. Um, so even though they keep saying no, they're not gonna help, Ruby keeps saying, then I'll do it myself. And she does, and I love that about Ruby. Um, she's a strong character and she doesn't let um, anything stop her from doing what she wants to do. If she doesn't know how to do something, she learns how to do it. And if she doesn't have any help, she just does it herself. And I think that's a great way to be. Satisfied with her plans, Ruby asked, who wants to help me gather supplies? Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll gather them myself. And she did. When all the supplies were gathered, Ruby asked, who wants to help me cut the boards? Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll cut them myself. And she did. When all the boards were neatly cut, Ruby sang, who wants to help me hammer the nails? Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose, I'm too busy. Fine, 
said Ruby. I'll hammer them myself. And she did. Ruby has done all of this work by herself. With a little help it looks like from her parents and her grandmother, right? Um, she has gathered up all the supplies. She is cutting the boards. She is building stuff. Meanwhile, what are her brothers doing? Laying around. Um, kind of playing by the pool. They're not really doing much of anything. Eating watermelon, always a good thing. But they're being pretty lazy, right? But Ruby is working really hard. Um, have you figured out what she's building yet? It looks like it's gonna be pretty big, right? And how do you think her brothers are gonna respond when she's finally done with this big project she's working on? I think they're gonna want in on that project after she's done all the work, right? Is that fair? Hmm. Soon, Ruby's creation was complete. Who wants to play in my fort? She called. Me, me, said Oscar Lee. Let's go, said Rodrigo. I'll play, said Jose. I'm not busy anymore. Not so fast, Ruby said. You didn't help me draw the plans, or gather the supplies, or cut the boards, or hammer the nails. You said I didn't know how to build, and you laughed at me. I'm going to play in the fort by myself. And she did. We didn't want to play anyway, the boy said, but they did. So they huddled, whispered, and got straight to work. Oscar Lee made a mailbox. Rodrigo planted flowers. And Jose painted the fort fire engine red. Ruby was delighted. That evening, the boys followed a delicious aroma to a fort warming party. Who wants to help me clean this plate? Ruby asked. We do, the boys said. And they did. So Ruby built this amazing fort. Isn't that so cool? Um, and once her brother saw it, of course, they wanted to be in on that fort too, right? They wanted to enjoy all of the, um, the work that Ruby had already put in all by herself, which doesn't seem fair. She did all the work. Why should they get to enjoy it now? Um, and that's what she says too. She doesn't let them in because they didn't help her do anything. But finally, the boys decide um, that they're gonna help her a little bit. And Oscar Lee makes her a mailbox for the fort, and Rodrigo plants flowers, and Jose paints the fort a fire engine red and makes it look so amazing. And so um, Ruby Lee finally lets them inside and lets them join in on the fun of being um, in the fort. And they have some nice cookies together, which is always a good thing. Um, so I think Ruby is a great example of working hard, of figuring things out by yourself, even if you don't have any help from anybody, um, and then enjoying all the hard work you put into something. And I also think that building a fort is a great way to spend your summer, even if it's inside. I used to build tent forts, um, blanket forts, all the time in my granny's house growing up. And I think the author has a picture of that at the back, right? Um, she has a picture of different types of forts you can build inside. And I used to do this all the time with chairs and blankets. And I would build like forts throughout the whole house. Um, don't drive your families crazy doing that. But building forts is a great way to spend some time during the summer. So that's why I wanted to read you this book. Um, I hope you get some great fort building in the summer. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.